We're here to uh, talk about a new piece of technology that we're introducing for lakefront improvement, canals, ponds, anywhere where you have shallow water that uh, can benefit from high volume circulation and oxygenation. This is the Airstream Pro uh, 1510 model, a, um, a very powerful but economical machine that you can see is um, using a combination of circulation and venturi aeration to create a uh, very aggressive horizontal flow of oxygenated water um, in, uh, in, in, the, in the direction away from the machine. You can see out at a distance um, some lily pads and if you look carefully you might be able to see that about a hundred feet away from this machine the flow from this unit is, uh, a, is strong enough to pull lily pads under the surface a hundred feet away and in a pretty wide pie-shaped um, pattern. Um, the other thing you'll notice is that there's a tremendous amount now of uh, uprooted Eurasian water milfoil floating at the surface uh, right near this machine. And uh, this machine was turned on on Saturday. That's three days ago. It's now Tuesday, going into our fourth day. None of this dead growth, uprooted growth, was here on Saturday. This is all uprooted dead Eurasian water milfoil that based on some of the clear areas that we're seeing on both sides of the machine um, is the result of this machine's ability to very quickly and very rapidly change the biology at the bottom and even change the by changing the flow of water in this area make it a very um, undesirable area for Eurasian water milfoil to persist and grow and what we're doing here is actually uh, through the use of aeration and circulation we're pulling the nutrients and removing the nutrients from the bottom sediment that are fueling this aggressive weed growth and as we do that the weeds weaken and die and, and quite literally uproot from the bottom. If you look carefully, you can see some of those uh, bright white strands and even some of the root mass of these plants that have not been cut. They've quite literally released themselves from the bottom, roots and all. We know from other projects and other um, aeration technologies that that is the classic sign of an, aer an aeration system or an aeration approach stripping away the nutrients that are fueling the growth of that weed and uh, and causing that weed to uh, to uh, fail of its own accord. We're not killing the weed. We are simply changing for the better the biology and chemistry at the bottom of the lake so that it becomes able to become a natural healthy lake bottom again instead of an area that's overrun with topped out aggressive invasive Eurasian water milfoil. You'll notice too that the water is absolutely crystal clear um, in front of the machine in the direct path of the flow of the aeration and circulation. Crystal clear water you can see the bottom and even one of our cement block anchors that's um, kind of holding it in place and behind the machine you can also see that the water is crystal clear so we are absolutely not stirring up the sediment and creating chocolate milk we are aerating the water and creating circulation through the sediment that allows nature to take over and process and get rid of those nutrients that were previously feeding all of this growth and creating healthy rooted weed on the bottom. Where do the nutrients go? That's a great question and actually what happens is we're by creating an oxygenated environment we're actually creating the right kind of an environment for beneficial bottom dwelling aerobic bacteria to start to consume those nutrients as their food that were previously just being used by the Eurasian water milfoil. So very interesting uh, process and program going on here. Quite early, we're only a few days in, but so far this unit is exceeding my expectations uh, by a long shot in terms of uh, what appears to be, and I will monitor this more over time, 
the ability to uh, help the lake rid itself of or my lakefront rid itself of this Eurasian water milfoil problem that uh, we've been struggling with for several years.